my people they say wahala no the end so definitely we go expect more and more wahala on top of this palace matter where we they follow see like so so right now no as we they speak oh, right now like this hey <laughs> waiting they happen we say and um, pastor jerry is a whom made a mistake or should we say deliberately called prince tadenika or my son that has generated a lot and a lot of reactions on the internet and people are saying that when birds are perching around the three then there is so much about that three that needs to be studied in order to understand what is happening there yes but now no, he is he is saying that he he actually admires how naomi has endured the bully these women are yes because it seems like they have touched him a little and he has felt what they are capable of. You know, the last time this woman came with a heavy accusation on Pastor Jerry Z, there was a statement he made. He told Lori Toby Phillips that, see, we did not become Christians to be bullied. Yes, we never became Christians to be bullied. So she has to, what, to be very, very careful of the stunt or whatsoever she pulls out. Because no matter how he is a, a man of God, he did not become this particular man of God for him to be bullied the way the Aulori Toby are bullying him. Because according to what the Toby said, as of them, they had a DNA test, they had proof, they had um, um, evidence that these two people lay together, these people have things they do together whenever they are in Abuja. So these things developed a very, very, a, a, in fact, it developed a huge Thing that nobody could even understand yes because it was more like whatsoever comes in the palace don't be too fast to deny or to, to, to accept sit in the matter when you sit in the matter the answer finds you sit in the matter and you would be able to word weigh both options and understand that palace matters comes with a bit of truth and a bit of a lie yes that has been it for this woman so as time progressed People began to what align with what these women were saying because all those times we were saying that Pastor Jerry Eze was in Abuja in April this year. If it is a lie, Naomi was there. Which hotel did Naomi lodge? Which hotel did Pastor Jerry Eze lodge? There was actually an advanced conference that was held by the Transforming Church in Galadima in Abuja, and and actually Pastor Jerry Eze attended this conference he was one of the guest ministers and that particular day that they are saying that they should check where pastor jerry is a lodge pastor jerry is a came to that program and he said that he could not minister that day he would go back so the pastor said he was coming back the next day and pastor jerry is a left so it seems like these women had all of these things did so that they would want know exactly when this one had the possibility of being true and they now packed all of it and brought it out so immediately they brought it out ah everybody was like it is true because there was nobody that would not deny that during that period these women stated during that between um early april that, that kind six to seven there about downward down to 10, Pastor Jerry Eze was not in Abuja and Oluri Naomi was not here. It was true. So when all of these things came out like it was true, people were curious to hear what these women have to say. So that was why the matter kept on what elongating because people were really, really concerned to hear what these women had to say because if it is true that these two people were in Abuja at the same time and then they were lodged in the same hotel, what happened to Oluri Naomi's apartment in Abuja? That was the question that everybody was asking. But as we, we later got to know in one way or the other that these women were trying to prevent the presentation of Prince Tedenikawo at the Olojo Festival. That was why they were finding so many things to tangle on the Louis Naomi, bring them out. Both out of the picture, Pastor Jerry is a boom, out of the blues, called Prince Tedenikawo my son, and it has sparked a reaction from different, different set of persons. Remember that when um, Oluri um, Miriam attacked Oluri Naomi in Akure, we call it an attack when everybody is saying that 
it was a meeting that they knew that if Miriam did not take the measure she took, it would not have happened. Pointing a gun to someone's head for a meeting, it is where. So, um, the owner reached out to her because his seclusion period was just by the corner and he told her to retire to Abuja and rest. So, it was during that period that uh, it happened. Pastor Jerry is a cold um, Prince Nekawo, my son, and you know the media, they pick it sharply. Even when he came out to say that, um, he was, whoever he calls his son, his son indeed, they excluded the other part where he said he is a man of God and they should not expect him to address people the way this woman want him to address them. People still excluded the other part and picked only the path where he said he, uh, he is a man of God. No, he they picked only the part where he said, whosoever is called his son, he's his son indeed. That's just the part they picked. Just to, what, to build up more sort of complications that will bring more, more division on this issue. But right now, no. The man himself have come out to tell the living Naomi that, see, you have tried. Whosoever does not acknowledge the fact that you have tried, the person has not followed this matter diligently because even Pastor Jerry Z that does not seem to be in the full picture has had a fair share and a fair test of what these women are capable of. And he is telling Oluri Naomi today that ah, you have tried. <laughs> See, my people, when these women choose to drag you, they will drag you so well. But now the problem is, the problem is like Pastor Jerry Z said the last time that whosoever gets to advise them that person must have had a standing meeting with the devil. Because whatsoever this person advises this woman on, it comes in a form of what? Heavy distraction, a boom put together. Yes. And the way they, they take this advice into consideration, like it is a do or die affair, it is so, so alarming how destroying is better to them than building. Because they don't care about building. They just care about what? Well, let's destroy the little one that is on ground. And now that is just a Pastor Jerry Reyes' concern. You know, Pastor Jerry Reyes has always wanted Naomi to return back to her marriage. Always. But when it gets to the point that it is beginning to be a, a life or death issue, the man always loves saying that what? Naomi's safety is more important than any other thing. Because when it comes to a matter of basketball, all of this fight, fight. Naomi is not a fight, fight type. That was why when you see how Miriam attacked her at that event, what did she do? She had to quietly withdraw because she's not the type that fights. She's not. Leave the fighting for other people, but definitely not to leave Naomi. So, Pastor Jerry is now looking out for this woman, have dragged him practically into an issue that he does not have a concern with. So, we'll wait and see how this whole thing will play out because we know that these women are more ready than that we ever thought they were.